in this video, we're going to be walking through the free Minecraft hostings and we're going to be enduring a lot of torture because let me start by saying that majority of them are not good and I'm saying this lightly. If you stick to the end of this video, I'm actually going to show you a simple way that's almost free it costs a fraction of the money how to get five thousand dollars completely for free i'm not even kidding for hosting of your micro network on a world's top microsoft azure servers so if you stay to the end you will learn this now let me start by introducing to you the first company called Eternos. Eternos is a completely free minecraft hosting uh, that would be pretty good however it actually is not good at all let me explain why number one their ad system is absolutely terrible so when i registered for eternos and i go to any of their web pages just like this one i am greeted by this massive you are using an ad blocker screen and i literally have to click here and wait for three seconds how incredibly annoying is that however i'm not using an ad blocker as you guys can see i'm literally seeing full page ads right here everywhere on this page which is just annoying and i'm not even using an ad blocker the second biggest limitations there is such a thing as a stop countdown and because of that if you don't have players for more than five minutes the server is going to be stopped automatically and i have to go inside the portal and deal with these huge gigantes you're using an ad blocker web page and start the server again and finally the third and uh, quite a big limitations is the files system so i cannot upload anything to the server that means i cannot install any custom plugin of my choice and when it comes to plugins you're limited to their shop or web store which offers just a few free plugins and uh you know if you don't like them if you want to have a custom plugin you're out of luck you have to suggest it and obviously they're not gonna approve it i already suggested all of my plugins guess what how many of them are approved only the old and outdated chat control which i haven't even updated in years which is not secure at all the second on my list is gaming for free company which actually provides you a uh, free hosting where you can as you guessed it install your own plugins and also import your own worlds you can just go ahead and start your free server and they actually provide you with a couple of other projects rather than minecraft and they claim to be hosting on a pretty good cpus let's verify that claim in just a few seconds there we go i'm gonna accept the minecraft end user agreement and my server is now starting uh one of the things that i've noticed the disk space is limited to five gigabytes and the ram is limited to two gigabytes which is not quite a lot for minecraft 1.20 point something and then the cpu seems like it's always jammed up in the high hundreds i mean the server is starting right now but even after it started i still observed uh, the cpu going crazy and this may be because this is a free server and it says they get placed on significantly weaker hardware and you are probably sharing it with another 500 of those free servers another big limitation i guess this is the biggest limitation is the server you have to renew and uh, if you don't renew it, it's going to be suspended. And if you don't renew it while it's being suspended for a couple of days, it will be completely discarded. So contrary to Eternos, this server can be empty, which is good. But you constantly have to log in to the console, click add 90 minutes to simply add 90 minutes and then you gotta wait for five minutes to add another 90 minutes i mean it is a <laughs> it's a micro work uh that is pretty annoying to do and you can only get it up to 12 hours if i'm not mistaken so having said that um the biggest advantage from eternos is obviously the server can be empty and also there is a magic upload button right here which lets you uh, take complete control over what files and what maps are inside of that server and finally the third and the best free hosting that i found is called magma node they let you create a server for minecraft java bucket mine mp bungee cord gazier mohist nookit and even bedrock after registering i am greeted with this poorly designed uh, page and i have to get an email which looks awfully suspicious as well thankfully everything worked and i was able to click here to create a server i mean how many 
places can I click? Is it this one, that one, or this one? I'm gonna go with the server. All right, now I'm inside there. Beautiful theme, beautiful pink theme. And I can see we have 2000 RAM and almost everything is being used up, even though the server is completely empty and it's been sitting idle for a couple of minutes. And uh, yeah, the CPU usage doesn't seem to go up to 100. I mean, okay, it goes up to 30%, but still, probably better hardware than the two previous companies and then the disk space we can see is also five gigabytes so magma cube actually has a couple of uh, great features that the other providers don't have they will let you install pixelmon and all the other popular mods with just one click they also will give you the mysql database which you can use which is pretty damn cool and they'll also let you create a backup of your server for free and uh yeah plugin installer i do think where's the files file editor i just have to log in with my credentials just like that and then i'm able to whoa that one seems like another panel so there's a control panel within a control panel that one i actually like that one way more which is cool pretty cool even the console looks better it sounds more it's, it looks more responsive and then i can go to files and now uh, i can just have my file manager right here and upload whatever i want to now the question is how long can you run the server for free the answer is i don't know some people claim they shut down after one day if there is no players some people claim they shut it down after a couple of days so you definitely need to have online players on that server however it isn't as strict as Eternos and it definitely isn't as strict as uh, gaming for free so that one actually seems to be the best alternative for a completely free no strings attached minecraft hosting when i registered they did not ask me for credit card i mean neither did uh, gaming for free neither did Eternos which is great anybody can register extremely accessible and extremely permissive now, what if I told you there is a better way to run a completely free Minecraft hosting that requires as little as $75 investment and you can literally get access to Microsoft's, Google's and Amazon's top hardware and you can get thousands of credits completely for free to spend over the next two years? Well, Mayan Academy is part, has partnered with something called Founder Pass, which is an incubator company that basically handles all the paperwork for you and will help you get a startup deal with these major companies that I just explained. I actually used it myself and I was able to get 2,500 credits to spend on a chat GPT. I was able to get over 1,000 Amazon credits and these credits actually, they expire two years from the date that you receive them. And also Microsoft Azure, they've been the most generous of all and they've given me a full 5,000 credits. You're reading this right, and I can literally go to the website. Now, check this out. Let me just reload the website to show that this is legit. So I spent 1,500 out of the 5K credits, and there's a whole year to spend them. So this one does not necessarily give you a micro server. This one, all these services, they give you access to their cloud hardware, and you can purchase a virtual server. And on these virtual computers, you can actually run your micro server, server you can run Bungie Cord you, network, you can run Redis instance of huge networks. So it's pretty much, you know, next level of freedom. You can do whatever you want with them. And obviously you, you can run any program just as you would on your regular computer. So that one is, I think, the best option if you have $75 to invest if you don't if you don't want to buy through mine academy sponsorship i think it's about 100 120 dollars so it's a little bit more but i still think it is just an insane deal and uh obviously if you don't you can just go to google and google founder pass on your own however i believe that this is one of the best opportunities the cheapest opportunities to get access to top tier hardware to host any server of any size that you want okay guys i hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, I can't wait to see you again in the next one. Take care.